Welcome back to Some Offense Attended. I am Jeremy Robinson. I am Mike Meg. And we have new microphones. Yes, you can see them. They got, are definitely different. Got the Shure MV7s. and uh, They sure are microphones. They sure are better. Yes. So I went down and tried. Like, I can talk from back here, and it sounds just about the same. Yeah, I can talk from here. Um, here. But, yeah, they're super sensitive on bumping the table, so yeah. that, that'll so, be a learning thing. I'm um, trying to keep my hands off the table. But I tried to kick on the bathroom fan to see if it would come across the mics, and Mike said he didn't hear it. So I didn't hear it, yeah. That's but it would still be better if there was it turned on just in case. I mean, we won't know because I'm not going to text him. Yeah. <laughs> so we probably will know. I'll we'll probably think of, you're playing Xbox. By the end of the podcast, yeah, that was fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I already thought of the name for this episode. Oh, good. It's going to be same mic, new mics. <laughs> I like that. I like it. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I was playing, is it even, it's even the cable. Yeah, the cable. So touches. I'm going to have to get a longer cable and route this one fucking somewhere else. Yeah. Because this is the shortest cable right now because I have to have it in front of me. Yep. Um, yesterday I was playing Fortnite with my nephew and had the headphone on. And I was talking to him. And the roommate texts me, like, I think it was like eight fucking times. Yeah. I'm, I'm not paying attention to it. I don't care. And he's like, no podcast tonight? Like, it's Sunday. Like, we record them on Mondays. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I, it's just I heard your voice and thought that you might have been. Like, that's, well, I live here. Well, you can only talk and, if you're doing I, a podcast. Yeah, I guess. And I talk. So, <laughs> I don't I don't understand the the confusion there. Yeah. That reminds me. Somebody at work showed me a video of, uh, he was playing Fortnite, and some kid was on there playing too, and apparently he fell. His character fell from a high, and he lived. But they changed that. Like, you could hear this kid just crying because they picked him up, carried him over, and threw him into a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and this kid's just... He's yelling, he's crying, he's just so upset. That's it was great. Wild. It was great. Yeah, I couldn't get it. I, I laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was wearing this shirt one of the times I went to the chiropractor. Yeah. And the chiropractor comes over, like, because he saw that it says, like, something, and it says National Park. And he's like, oh, where is... And, like, he stopped himself mid-sentence because he's finished reading it. Yeah. And he's like... And then reads the tagline of totally worth the four hour drive. He's like, that's fantastic. Cause I was going to ask where it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what national park is that? Like, I want to go. <laughs> well, it's got the word chasm and sarcasm. So, you know, yeah, it works. Exactly. Yeah, Sarc- I like chasm it. National park. And it actually looks like it would, could be something out of like, it would be one of the star Wars t-shirts. Cause I actually have a national park t- star Wars t-shirt. So, I mean, there's countless different planets. So there could be fucking, I have most of far. Yeah. yeah, that would be the national park that I don't think many people would go to, though. Oh, that'd be the good one. It'd be a little warm, but yeah, a little bit. It's a fucking lava planet. Yeah, but that's where uh, Vader lives, or lived. It yeah. was uh, in a galaxy far, far away a long time ago. So you know. Well, I mean, he lived there for a little bit. It definitely wasn't like a fucking home planet kind of shit. Well, he had a he had a summer home there. Yeah. I don't think there was anything but summer there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say winter home. I guess maybe if he lived in a cold climate, he just went there when it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the one year is staying up until they feel like taking it down. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Christmas decorations. Yeah, just get used to looking at it. I don't know if it's going to be because I flipped the video last time so yeah. that it looked regular there. I don't know if this video is going to, have it backwards because I don't know why cameras. Fucking so if do you that. flipped it, does that mean I was on that side? I think so. <laughs> Maybe that's why we only had one person fucking watch it. Yeah, because we were backwards. Yeah. So I don't know. But still, thank you, Josh, for watching it <laughs> and liking it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I was thinking about it, and I think we might get better. Like viewers, listens, whatever. If we did another live podcast, yeah, 
and we'll figure out how to do on Riverside the multi live. Yeah, we can do it on Twitter. Or we can, yeah, we can hit Twitter, Facebook, Facebook and everything. YouTube all at the same time. Yeah, because I think, I think Facebook would have a better. Yeah, because we could get we could invite both of our friends groups. Yeah, and not not just that. Like if you're scrolling through reels, sometimes it'll have like, it'll show like such a person live is or like this account live is doing whatever and you can listen to it just like when you're scrolling through and it'll show you live game streams yeah of i think it'll do something like that to where it'll get random people well, that would be good that's that, what we yeah, want yeah that haven't listened before um russell's girlfriend does video editing and all kinds of stuff so i'm working on talking to her about nice like how much if it's a package or whatever i need to talk to her about the whole fucking thing yeah because I definitely still haven't installed Adobe Premiere Pro. That was going to be a today thing. And then I worked on the truck and the bike. Yeah. Um, but if I can find somebody else to do it, I don't have to. That's dope. Yes. Because I still think it needs to be a third person that does all the like the the short clip picks. Yeah. Because what I think is funny and what you think is funny might not be what other people think is funny. Oh no, not that we know what's funny. To fucking be funny. But. I think having a third person be able to pick in like a, a yeah. non-biased view. Yeah, because we, we definitely have, we're going to have our favorite segments. Yeah. And I mean, it's not to say that we can't have like 15 fucking short reels per video podcast. Yeah. I mean, that would be fine. That would be more content. And the more eyes we get, the better. Yeah, so I just think it would be a little better, I don't know, from the outside in. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'm going to talk to her about it tonight or tomorrow. All right. Um, hopefully the truck starts tonight. Hopefully. I, I threw everything back together and I forgot to charge the batteries this whole fucking time. Fingers crossed. So I have one of the batteries charging. And I think I might try it just after that battery is good. So for people who don't know, it's a diesel truck and diesel trucks have two batteries. Very often they have yes. two batteries. Yeah. Definitely the newer ones. The one I've driven in the past had two batteries, definitely. Well, like definitely, well, definitely two batteries. Most of them do. Like 12 valves, uh, the Cummins, you can take out one of the batteries. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of electronics to actually run. So you don't really need to. And the so, one that I drove in California was a uh, Ford F450. That one had two batteries. Yeah, I don't. I think Cummins was the only one that you could get away with taking one out. Maybe the old Ford IDIs. Yeah. But I don't know anything about those fucking diesels. I remember, I think Jake is the one. He said it was like the, something about it stood for like the scatter. Because it, it often like blew up the bottom end and would just scatter parts everywhere. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. I don't want my car to do that. Or truck. <laughs> So now, at, at this point, I've done almost fucking everything that can go wrong with those power strokes. Well, after after everything can go wrong, it's already gone wrong, they can't do it again. I mean, yeah, they can. Oh, well. The power stroke 6.0. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just trying to that look was, at the bright side. That was the most problematic fucking motor that they that they made. Uh, I take that back. The 6.4 was. The 6.0 was definitely up there, though. So the point four didn't make it better? No, it made it way worse. <laughs> what the way fuck? Way worse. I think they only did it for like two or three years because of how much worse it made it. Ford, get your head right. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, on the way here, I saw a Ford Mustang, and they had the uh, the Wait. marble look on the paint. I don't think it's fucking recording. I'm recording it here, so I can just do whatever. What do you mean, not recording? The voice isn't coming through. It's not blipping on oh, this side. Oh, fuck. Well, you keep talking. I'll see if I can hit the settings, and I'll only have to match, like, the first two. Well, I was um, I was telling you that I, I saw something interesting. I brought something in from something interesting that happened uh, yesterday. Yeah. When I, when, uh, um, when I was on my way to, uh, I had parked at Gold Dust West because I'd run in for a little bit, and uh, I went out to my car. And saw a note on the window. This person apparently thinks I am somebody else. Why? What does the note say? I brought it so I could show it. Hey, it's Becca. 
I'm assuming that's a C. It looks like yeah. a D. And she looked like she had a typo from, and refixed it. From El Cortez. Remember me, exclamation mark. Not a question mark. Remember me. Don't read the telephone number. <laughs> well, it's remember, like the me is all caps too. So it's remember yeah. me. Yeah. Call me, exclamation mark. 775. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they, did you call him? No. I don't know that person. Then why can't I read the number? Because I don't want other people to call this random person. That they don't, that would be just rude. We don't want to make them have phone calls that they don't want. Everybody gets phone calls they don't want, Mike. Well, these could be harassing calls. Uh, Let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it looked a little bit too white. It, it. But um, <laughs> what are the? What, I don't think the numbers came the, through. I'm the only one who this would happen to. And this kind of shit happens to me all the time. Well, maybe you should call Bed Cup because I don't, I don't know if that's a C or a D. I, I it should be Becca, but there's like a weird tail to this on the top of the. It looks C. like they started to to do it, and then like, oh shit, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, it's a, I think it's a C. It's Becca. I don't know a Becca. And, well, um, there's probably more than one car like mine out there no it's not possible oh yeah i forgot it's not like you bought a a common volkswagen jetta or anything no (laughs) no (laughs) it's it's a one of a kind yeah but i was saying i did see a ford mustang on the way in today and it's its color was uh it it had a a marble look oh okay yeah and I looked at it and thought, oh, that's interesting, but I don't think I'd ever do that to my car. No. there's. I've seen a Tesla around that, has, yeah, I've seen that one. has the marbled fucking... I really don't know how I feel about it. Like, it looks neat, but that, well, the first I time I saw like it, I thought, it. The first time I saw it, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. But then I thought, no, I don't want my car to look like marble. I just don't. Yeah, no. I want to look like a car. I mean, like, there's a bunch of other designs or fucking anything that you could do that look cool or neat or whatever that aren't yeah. marble. Yeah. So, yeah. I I've told you about it before. I did see a Mercedes uh, back in Vegas that had half red and half black. Yeah. Then it had a, uh, its horn was a train horn. Yeah, people put train horns on everything. Yeah. Except trains. They yeah. put Ayuga train yeah. <laughs> the, horns on trains. Yeah, those come with them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's why they're called train horns. Yep. But maybe they're just like, you know, everybody's taking our shit, so let's just do something different. They just put a squeaky horn on it and yeah. way more people get hit. Yeah. Did you know they, they don't stop for people that are on the tracks? They can't. Exactly. So they just close their eyes. Yeah. I saw a thing a long time ago. This this guy is laying down on the train tracks. All right. So this other guy's like, oh, shit, I better go help him. He runs over and he's taking this guy off the train tracks. And this woman's like, oh, I saw this guy laying on the train tracks, and I thought, I better do something. And she runs and go gets her camcorder. <laughs> that's that's her doing something. So she records this guy getting taken off the train tracks, and apparently he didn't want to get off the train tracks. Normally, if you have enough going on that you go lay down on train tracks, I would imagine you don't want to get off the train tracks. Yeah, well, he, this guy pulled him off the train tracks. The train went by. He didn't get killed. He, um harassed and stalked this guy who saved his life for a year because wow. he wanted to die. Wow. You know, instead of stalking him and, and, and uh, harassing him for a year, you could have just done something else to kill yourself or found another fucking train. They run all the time. It's not like it's a once-a-year event. Yeah. You could have found one. And who the fuck wants to get hit by a train? How is that the way you want to go? You want it to run you over? That's the way you want to go? Uh you have a list of what your favorite way would be of dying? Like top Not to really, bottom, but I just can't see. There. I just can't see going, hey, you know what? I'm going to lay down on train tracks. That's how I'm going to do it. Well, I mean, yeah, that's it doesn't seem pleasant. I guess it does beat a wood chipper. Beat first. I think it would, I think it would be quick, though, with a train. Yeah. But still, you have to watch the thing coming. Not if you have your eyes closed. Yeah, you hear looking it coming. Up or looking up at the sky. You'll feel it coming. And at some point, you're going to want to look to see how much fucking longer is it going to take. Well, if, if you're laying, like, I don't know how tall a train is underneath, but. Well, like he was if, laying, 
across the tracks. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like if you're laying in the tracks, like there's a there's a small chance that the train's gonna just go over you. Yeah, it's most likely it's going to because they're usually a little deep in areas and the train can go over. There might be something hanging low that might fuck you up. Yeah, that might ruin your day. <laughs> Because, you know, I've seen he, movies that doesn't happen. You can just whoosh, and just be safe. Yeah, because everything in movies that's accurate. Yeah, otherwise, it wouldn't be in movies. Especially guns <laughs> going off by themselves. That happens a lot, too. Not just in movies. Only if you're Alec Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I would say it'd ruin his day because he'd get hit by something hanging under the train and actually live through it. Yeah. Yeah. I did hear about somebody who uh, jumped in front of a car to kill himself in Vegas. Yeah. And then? He died. Oh, okay. But, um, well, that's the way you were led into that. But, but it's, it's just it, it traumatized the, the person driving. Yeah. I mean, that's just horrible to do to the driver. Yeah. A buddy of mine up here said that he, uh, he was leaving my house. We were working on his truck one night. He was leaving my house and just taking McCarran forever. And he said some homeless guy just ran across the street, tried to jump in front of his truck. And just that, like, he didn't hit him. But yeah. just that fucked my friend up for a while. Yeah, something like that happened to me, but I, I was fucked up because I missed him. <laughs> 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 no, but it was funny. It, it wasn't funny, but it was it was weird because my manager comes up to me and goes, yeah, she's, she's going to be coming back to work tonight, so um, don't mention anything about it. And I looked at him, I go, no shit. What am I going to do? Say, hey. What was it like killing that guy? No, I'm not gonna fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not stupid. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a a topic that would be. No, I'm not gonna bring it up. No, if she'd brought it up to me, that's fine. But <laughs> and she didn't. So speaking about cars, um, I have a couple notes about like what are some of your most terrifying car stories? Because I have. I have several. I uh, whether you were driving or somebody else is driving. Most most terrifying for me is when uh not really terrifying but shocking thing for me is when I was in a car when I got shot. But, you know that's about it. The car got shot. Yeah, the well the bullet went into the car right next to where I was sitting. Oh, okay. Were yeah. you were you driving? Were you stopped? We were stopped. Were you at a bank? Were you like <laughs> tell the fucking story, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> We were driving from one area of town to another, and uh, um, some people tried to cut us off and were kind of dicks, so we were chasing after them to catch up to them, to let them know that we were not appreciative of their, we were going to give them a critique of their driving. And uh, a police officer saw this. We did not know he was a police officer, because he was in his own car. Yeah. Yeah. So he comes driving up beside us to pull us over. I'm like, what about the fucking people up there, first of all? And also, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Because like I said, I don't know he's a police officer. He holds something up to the window. Looks to me like it could be a fucking Coke can. (laughs) Turns out later, it was not a Coke can. It was a badge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't buy those anywhere. Yeah. So we eventually get pulled over. And there's a scuffle in Sue. I was still in the car in the back seat, and uh, he drew his uh, his weapon. Yeah, I, I hear it now. But yeah, he but drew. It's, it's not coming over the mics. Yeah, I did on mine. But he drew his uh, my, his gun and uh, fired it, and it went right into the car, right next to the side I was sitting at. The cop, the cop shot the car. Yeah. When nobody was... No, there was a scuffle involved, like I said. A scuffle of people in the car. No, the the, the person was pulled out of the car. Oh, okay. And there was a scuffle ensued between the two, and then the officer fired his gun, and it hit right below the window. Uh, It was a uh, Nova that I was in, a Chevy Nova, like a 76. Okay, the ugly ones. (laughs) (laughs) It was a Nova Classic. I'll just hold the microphone until he's done with the fucking fan because it doesn't come through when I'm holding it. But if I'm it's not on a big table, fan of the fan. No. But because this table leg is right over the fan, that's probably why it comes through my mic. Yeah. He's done now. He needed it on, though. Yeah, he was probably washing his hands. I don't, yeah. I've, 
I don't understand. Turn on the fan. They're like, if you're going in there, brush your teeth. Like, why does well, why is it necessary? Bad breath. You want to get that fan? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the only scary car story. That's the only thing I, I can think of. I mean, uh, I was in a couple of cars that got hit, but they weren't scary. Yeah. Um. So the top two that I have, I don't know which one's worse. Um, one of them, when a buddy of mine lived up here, we went to Northern Utah to pick up like a 65 Buick for him. Yeah. And we had, I think it was like a 98 Yukon Denali four by four, but the four by four didn't work. Yeah. And a U-Haul flatbed trailer for the car. So you, U-Haul car hauler. Yeah. So we start driving up there and it's a, a pretty bad snowstorm. Yeah. Like there's seven semis laid over. By the time we get to Battle Mountain, that bad of a snowstorm. Like, you're high kneeing through the gas station parking lot to get to the doors. So, it's already not great. Yeah. So, we get all the way out there, load the car up, it's fine. We start coming back, and my buddy John's sleeping in the passenger seat I'm driving. And we start coming down Battle Mountain, and it's, I don't know, probably one in the morning now. Okay. Maybe 15 degrees outside, like cold as shit, coming yeah. down hard, snowing. So everything being pulled with a Yukon, and I'm like, I know how to drive with trailers. I know how to drive on ice. I haven't often driven w- with trailers on ice. Yeah. So I'm trying to slow down as much as possible on the downgrade before hitting a turn. So I start doing that, start going into the turn. And I'm like, something doesn't feel right. Like, I don't know what it is. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. And we start back on the straightaway. And then I feel the the car and the trailer get traction again. Like, it just, like, hooks real quick. I'm like, yeah. Oh, shit. Like, I just drifted that corner with a fucking trailer. <laughs> with a car on it. Yeah. So I'm like, now I'm, oh, like, how much faster can I slow down without locking it up and skidding on the ice? before the next turn because it's just all kinds of curves coming down battle mountain yeah no yeah i couldn't so the entire way down battle mountain i drifted a u-haul trailer with a 65 buick on it in a 98 yukon the whole way down that's crazy so at some point i had i took my hoodie off and the the seal on the passenger side wasn't great so it was cold on that side so like whoever was sleeping like you have a blanket on so I took my hoodie off, and I started smoking a cigarette and, like, have the window down a little bit. I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't enough. So I, like, window all the way down. Like, I think I took my shirt off at one point, too, just chain smoking cigarettes trying to calm down with it 15-degree air coming in. And I'm still sweating, just yeah. pour and sweat. Finally, John wakes up. He's like, what's going on? Why is the window open? Why don't you have your hoodie on? Why is, you, why is your shirt off? I'm like, that's because I drifted all the way down Battle Mountain. With the trailer. Why didn't you wake me up? To do what? So you yeah. could freak the fuck out too? What are you going like to do? That wouldn't have helped anybody. You're going to get out and help? <laughs> yeah, but that wouldn't have helped anybody. There was no way that could have gone any better or worse. It definitely could have gone way worse. There's yeah. no way it could have gone any better with any help from anybody. Yeah. Period. Two people looking at it isn't going to make it better. Yeah, no. Then a running commentary... While I'm trying to do it, my probably best gonna make things is worse. probably going to make things worse. Yeah. So that's that's top two. But no, that, that reminds me, there was a time we were driving back from, from Iowa to Omaha, and there was a very bad snowstorm. Now, I wasn't scared, but it was a little unnerving. I wasn't driving. I was a passenger. Um, but I remember my, my sister was a new driver. She had not been driving for very long, so she was driving part of this trip. There was two cars we were bringing back. There was my dad's, and then my grandmother's car was being driven to Omaha. Right. Um, she had passed away, so we were taking the car. And my sister was going to have it. Well, so we're driving along, and you can't see shit at all. Like the windows are getting covered, like, continually. And at one point, I recall seeing my dad actually leaning out the driver's side <laughs> to be able to clear some snow off the window so he could see. Wow. Yeah. While driving. Yeah. Yeah. Hold the wheel. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Yeah, so I've I've had to do that 
when I worked at Lee Canyon in Vegas because my TDI, the heat didn't work. Yeah. So the defrost didn't work. Yeah. So one of the times the windshield was so iced up and I'm not sitting there for 45 minutes to wait for the car to almost heat up to be able to see. So I put my snowboard goggles on and Ace Ventura it out the side. Yeah. Driving down the mountain. Like driving through clouds, driving down the mountain. That that hurt so bad. My face was so cold. Oh, that had to suck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so other top two. I had a compound turbo Cummins in Vegas, uh twelve valve. And it was a four by four. So and the brakes were going bad. Yeah. Well, I say going. They were they were bad. So you had to pretty pretty firm pressure to be able to stop. All right. And I was just used to it. So it's it's whatever. I'd stop before I need to anyway. And it's been fine. Yeah. So I'm pulling an empty trailer. A, a pattern here. I'm pulling an empty trailer to go across town to get a ramp made because another time we went to Utah to get a different car. Uh, one of the tires blew on the trailer. It ripped the chain off that was keeping the ramps in. Yeah. And we lost a full ramp on the freeway on the way back. And we didn't know about it for probably two hours yeah. because it was a triple axle. So I'm driving across town, staying on surface streets because I know I have weight behind me and I have to slow down way sooner now because I have weight behind me. So I'm coming down Tropicana. No, I think it was Flamingo. And right before you get to Decatur where there's that the decline, the trailer started pushing me. So I'm trying to stop. It's not stopping. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't know what to do. So I, like, shift it all the way to the first. It's an automatic. But, like, throw it all the way in the lowest gear. It slows down a little bit. I'm like, well, like, slam the e-brake. Did nothing. So pop the e-brake. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, transmission. Throw it in park. And it's just, kick, 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 kick. I'm like, nope. Throw it back in first. I'm like, well, there's one option left. Because I either rear end the guy in the turn lane because I was going to turn left here anyway, but either rear end the guy in the turn lane or I can hop the curb, go on to oncoming traffic. They just got a green light. There's the two or three lanes. Then there's the cat bus turnout. Yeah. And I can maybe get through all of them because there's just enough time. They just got a green. So I'm like, well, here it goes. I have my window down doing the movie, like stop thing, like honking the horn, jump the median, go into oncoming traffic, Swing into the cat bus turnout to miss an Audi and something else. Yeah. Make the turn, slow down. Now that I'm going flat, I can slow down. Yeah. Turn into that first parking plaza. Got out, locked the truck, and I just walked off. I was so terrified. Well, um, first, stop pulling trailers. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, stop pulling trailers when the vehicle isn't. Okay. Yeah. Because the Yukon, we got to pull trailers and then figured out the 4x4 didn't work, and we didn't fix it until after that. Yeah. And, like, the Cummins, I knew the brakes were bad-ish. I didn't realize they were that bad. Yeah. Of Like, I pulled the rotors off because I did them the next day. Pulled the rotors off. You could have poured cereal and milk in there, how bad those fucking rotors were. Nice. Horrible. Well, yeah. if you're hungry while you're working on the car, you're, you're set. Yeah, so I and just locked, I locked it, just walked it, like, Half a mile, sat down, smoked a couple cigarettes. I'm like, okay. I know it's flat the whole rest of the way to my buddy's house to make this ramp. Yeah. And then I'm doing the brakes before I pick the trailer back up. <laughs> I, I did have a situation where I had uh, no brakes in a car. Uh, my brakes completely went, I, no brakes. I'm not saying it took a while to stop. I mean, it had no brakes. Yeah. So I'm driving down the road and, uh, I realized that I have no brakes because when I hit the brakes, I wasn't slowing down. That's that's usually a good sign of that. Yeah, it's normally a good indicator. So, but me, I I, uh, I, I managed to, uh, like you said, I put it in first. So I was able to get off the road, and I got it to stop eventually. <laughs> I didn't hit anything. That's good. It wasn't a sudden stop. Yeah, that's, thankfully I didn't hit anything, anything or anybody that time. But then I, I, uh, wild. I decided to go ahead and uh, turn the car all around and, Take it back home and uh, park it in the driveway and and borrow a different car. <laughs> I decided to not use that one to go. I had a night class that night. I was going to, uh, so I yeah. 
<laughs> I told my mom, I'm like, yeah, I don't have any brakes. I'm going to need to use your car. <laughs> <laughs> what was the issue? Just, just or do you, you don't know? I don't even remember. It was so long. Ago. It, like, it wasn't like the rotors, because normally, you know, you hear a noise. Yeah. Before they go that bad, you hear something. After a while, it starts grinding. Eventually, you're like, well, maybe I can get this looked at. But no, it just seemed to just go from, it's fine, to no brakes. Then it was just, the pedal was super soft and just, whoosh. Yeah, it was like you were, yeah, what did it feel like shit when you were pushing it? It, was, it sounds like a brake master cylinder failure. Yeah, it was. Not common. I can't remember. Well, I remember, I remember we got it fixed, but I don't recall. I mean, I know it wasn't cheap. Yeah, those aren't, those no. aren't cheap. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the car wasn't even worth it that, that much. I think I actually ended up getting a different car. That's, that, that's what I think I did. I don't think I even got it fixed. Because I think it was a piece <laughs> of shit. It was just, it was a Dodge and it was just, a, it, it had more problems than it was worth. Like, at times, like, if you didn't get a running start on hills, you were going to be going up that hill very slow yeah. and piss off everybody behind you. I've, I've had cars like that before, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. So I was happy to get a different car. I was like, why don't we just fucking trade this thing in? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's lived its purpose. Yeah. And then one day I saw it. I was telling somebody I saw it on the road. Like, no, it couldn't have been your car. There's so many. I'm like, no, trust me. I was like, when it went by... I could see where somebody carved something in on the side door. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't my car at the time, but somebody had carved in a uh, fuck off on the side door. That's speaking of like, no, it's, you can't tell it's your car. So when I went to go get, uh, I had safe light check out that chip in my windshield that they yeah. said isn't a chip. It's just a surface pit. Yeah. Like pits are deep. I know surface pitting is surface pitting. This is a deep fucking pit. I don't know why they wouldn't fix it. Um, while I was there, because I have an E250 Blue Tech that there aren't many of, definitely not in Reno. Yeah. I haven't seen any. No, I see the 350, but not the 250. Yeah. So while I'm at Safe Flight, the shop next door has an E250 Blue Tech sitting outside with a loan plate on it. So, like, somebody's borrowing it for if they're getting their shit worked on or whatever. So, not only is it the same model as mine. It might be the same trim. It, I don't know if it's the Formatic or not, because if it's a Blue Tech, it says Blue Tech instead of Formatic. Yeah. But it's also missing the C in Blue Tech. <laughs> on the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laughing like bird. <laughs> it's also missing the C in Blue Tech on the fucking trunk. Yeah. Like with the same like faded glue look. So I'm like, maybe they just didn't use enough adhesive or the right adhesive yeah. on the C's. Because I'm like, I haven't ever seen another one in person. Yeah, and, and I finally see another one in person, and it's the fucking same. Like, if I didn't have n- different wheels on it now, it would have, I'd have just taken a picture. It's all universe Jeremy. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume from the past, because it wasn't tinted and it had the stock wheels. Yeah, definitely. Definitely from the so, past. So, yeah. Past me, I didn't, I didn't go ask whose it was, because I didn't want to, you know, mess up the space-time continuum. Yeah. Well, he also... He hasn't finished his three years, so that's why he hasn't yeah. finished it yet. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But I never had loan plates. Yeah, well, in the multiverse, some things are going to be a little bit different. Maybe. Yeah. But we were supposed to watch The Machine last night. Already had the time picked out. Yeah. Show up and... uh they don't know how to update the website with their show times. They might have actually pulled the movie because apparently it didn't do very well in week one. Which is unfortunate as fuck. Yeah. I think the budget was like 20 mil, and I think uh, the first week global gross was six. See, the thing I saw, I've, I've heard mixed things. I, one thing said it was 35 million, another said it was 20 million to make the movie, and then another thing said that they, uh, they made uh, under 5 million for the first week. They finished in the top five, but. No, it was it was definitely like six global. But the thing is, who who releases it on the same week as a Disney movie? You know that Little Mermaid was gonna do well. Well, sure, but kid movies always do well because there's only so many of them that come out at any given time, and parents look forward to be able to take their kids to a kids movie or a family movie, not a kids movie for everybody. Yeah, but that's I'm not gonna go see it. No, either am I. That's I think I'm just because go. it's for everybody doesn't mean I should go see it. Yeah. I think I'm going to go watch The Machine tomorrow. Me and Mike were talking about it before we started recording. Um, 
I think me and Josh are going to go eat Godfather's buffet for like seven bucks. Yeah. And then go watch The Machine. Hopefully somebody still fucking has it. Cause don't overeat because you'll fall asleep. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I have a hard time not falling asleep in movies, not eating. But yeah. Um, yeah I didn't fall asleep last night. I don't think I did. There might have been like a 30 second eye shut. Yeah. That was it. I didn't recline. That's, I can't. If I, it's instant it's fucking out yeah. if I recline. I, so I have to keep shifting around and like all the time. Like left leg up, right leg up, shift, nonstop. Did you see any movie posters of anything you want to see when you were there? Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the Indiana Jones. Yeah, I think they they had to make that to make up for Crystal Skull. Yeah, and that's uh, Harrison Ford was like, "This is this is going to be his last one." Yeah, he's like, "I want to wrap it up and I want to do like what I wanted to do with it." Kind of stuff. So, like, it's without saying Crystal Skull was trash. He said Crystal Skull was trash. Yeah. Um, June 29th, they're doing, I don't remember which one it is, um, but they're having, I think it's the $5 ticket day yeah. of one of the old Indiana Jones in the theater. Well, if it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, I would definitely go to that. I don't know which one it is. But um, but it's just weird how they do this, whether it, like, there's a huge difference in year and how long ago the first one came out until now. Yeah. And they're coming out with another one. I mean, let's, let's come up with something new. I mean, it's probably going to be a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to go see it, but shit. I mean, I'd rather them do another Indiana Jones than turning Fast X into three fucking movies. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that? No. Yeah. It's now the Fast Saga oh, that's going to end it. It's not just Fast 10. So I don't know if it's going to be Fast 10, Fast 10.2, Fast 10.3, or if there's, I don't know how they're going to number it. I don't know. But that's going to be a thing. It's a three-part ender. I'm not watching any of them. And it, I might on on the fire stick thing. The only thing that I thought I would want to watch that for is because of the commercials. Jason Momoa seems great. His character seems amazing. He just seems awesome. Everything else in it looks like it sucks, but him. That's I want to see. Holy Thad, shit! I want to see Thad Castle. In I a, mean, in he, a Fast and the Furious movie because he just seems so like some of the lines that I've seen in the commercials. He's fucking funny as fuck. Yeah. It's great, Man, but nothing else. Thad Castle's great, but everything else, everything else I've seen in the ads, I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, I've seen the first Fast movie and I haven't watched another one since. So, I saw a small bit of Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was good. Um, like, the the first three were the first three were good. After that, it it started, yeah, like the it first started rapidly going downhill. Well, it's, you're not a car guy. I'm a car guy. I like cars. Barely a car guy. But I don't. <laughs> he races and he he uh, races for his dad's pink slip. That was Jesse. I know, but he loses his dad's car. His dad's in prison. What the fuck does his dad need his car for? He's in prison. Not just that. I just saw a meme recently. It was like it showed the. Like when he pulls up, and I don't, I'll have to watch the movie again because I didn't recognize this when I've watched it the countless times that I have. Yeah. When he pulls up, there's no front caliper, there's no front brakes. Like he has a rotor, but there's no caliper behind the wheel. So then, might it, need that. then it's like, like where do you go? Then it shows that picture. He goes, no brakes, can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a parachute. Come on. Um. I forgot. No, I was going to say something else. Yeah, I, I really want to watch The Machine in theaters so that it can give more money towards Burt Kreischer's movie fund. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a good movie. People I, would... I think more comedians should, like, branch out and make movies based off of, like, some of their best bits. Yeah. I think that would be fucking amazing. Well, the, for a while there, people were making TV shows out of their bits. If you watch uh, Home Improvement... Like the first episode is it's like it's straight taken from from his uh stand up. Well it's home improvement was forever ago. I know. But I'm just saying it used to be a thing. Oh, okay. But I mean it was like the first episode literally it was like it was taken from his stand up routine. Like you could be like, Oh yeah, I remember that part of that show. <laughs> I mean he talks about souping up his uh garbage disposal. He does that in the episode. 
I mean, it's it's, but huh. it still had been a good show. Yeah. And uh, Last Man Standing was a good show too. Yeah, it was. I watched. I don't know about a lot of it, but I saw, I saw quite a few episodes. And it was yeah. pretty good. I was, I had, I haven't seen all the episodes, but I've seen it. Although, I mean, I don't much care for the episodes with Jay Leno, but I just don't like Jay Leno. His chin has something to do with me not liking him. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking one on the chin. Yeah. That's probably what caught on fire, his chin. Um, and he got burned recently. Speaking of TV shows, so I don't know what it is. You and me have talked about it several times. Why do studios, producers, I don't know whose fucking call it is. Why do they do six season, six episode seasons now? That is no. That is not okay. The only thing it I used to be twenty or twenty five episodes. Used like to be, Stargate the standard is about twenty three episodes. Yeah, like Stargate, MacGyver. But like I've told you before, like if it's a if it's a Blue test, Bloods. if it's a new series and they're just testing it, they'll just make the first season short in case it sucks, and they can go through that whole season, and then you know be like, all okay, right, they've, they've we fucked cut, it up. They've cut seasons short before because of that. But like I'm just saying that's plan. that's one of the reasons they do it. You can plan for something, and then it's like, oh, nobody watched the first five episodes? Can it? Yeah. But, but the, like, uh, like, Obi-Wan, Boba Fett. See, Obi-Wan, now that one pisses me off because that one, um, they that was their whole series. That was the whole thing. That was it, yeah. They shouldn't have called it a series. It should have called it a miniseries because it's over. It's done. Yeah. It's not going to have another season. And then the newest one, uh, Citadel, is on Amazon. Like, it's it's fairly enjoyable. Yeah. Six episodes, and that's it. I'm like, this is, they already announced the second season, I think before episode six dropped. See, but last year at this time when we started doing this podcast, we were watching Obi-Wan when we finished. We'd sit downstairs and watch an episode of yeah, Obi-Wan, and it now it's like gone. three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now it's gone. Six episodes. It's yeah. so bad. I've, and that one might have been seven or eight. And there's, there's it's other, still I think okay. it might have been seven, but, it, but there's, they left things open. There's a storyline that could still be told. Why do that to us? Why give us only one season, not even a full season? Yeah. I'm still pissed off. I thought the show was good. I enjoyed it. But fuck that. Another thing I thought of when I was watching Citadel, because um, I was watching with Josh, yeah. is like there was a couple times like something started like looking a little odd in the series. And I'm like, what are they going to like start doing this? And then like describe something. And Josh is like, I thought you said you haven't seen it. I have it. Because that's, that's what they do. Like, just f- keep watching. Yeah. And then like, I'll, oh, right, because this. And that's what happens. And they'll, yeah. like, say a couple lines. Oh, I do the same like, thing. I'm like, why don't I write a fucking TV show? I'm like, if this, any, you only have to do six fucking episodes. I'm like, maybe I should write a fucking TV show. I used to tell a roommate of mine, I'd be, we'd be watching something, I'd be like, well, now this is what's going to happen. He's like, how do you know that? I'm like, because that's what they do. That's, that's just, it's a formula. <laughs> It's like watching a romantic comedy. Oh, the two people are going to get together. There's going to be some kind of mistrust involved. They're going to break up. But then they're going to realize it doesn't really matter because they love each other after all. Well, yeah. Like that's, Every single fucking romantic comedy of all time. That's definitely the backbone of rom-coms. Yeah. But no, it's, I'm talking about like it's the formula. more but, of a bullet-pointed list. But I'm like saying what, like... What would go on? But you can see a pattern with a lot of different shows. I'm just using... Rom coms because I think they're ridiculous that the same fucking story is told all the time and people eat it up to yeah. get something new. Like Avatar isn't Pocahontas. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't like Avatar. I'll, I'll admit it, it. It looked pretty. That was it. Yeah. I didn't, it wasn't a great movie. I remember uh roommate was like, oh yeah, it's great. There's, it's, it's all action. There's very little just sitting around talking. I watched the movie. I'm there like, oh. Is. There, eight, there, there's eight minutes of action in that three-hour movie. They're, 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 they're talking again. Huh. Where, where's this action I heard about? Like, you, oh, they're talking again. Did you know James Cameron wanted to make that movie for, I think, 15 or 20 years before he actually made it? Yeah. He was waiting for the technology to catch up. Yeah, because he wanted to do it how he did it and was just waiting for the tech. Yeah. And he actually invented some of the – I mean, they actually had to invent some of the tech to make it. Yeah. But then they had to make the next one and had to all be in water – I haven't it's, seen that. I haven't seen it. I won't watch it. I, I won't either. They already took three hours of my life. I'm not giving them another three. Oh, look, water. Ooh. Po- Pocahontas meets the Titanic. 
<laughs> he finally envisioned his dream, Pocahontas and Titanic. Because he did do Titanic also. Yeah. But that's another one that took three hours of my life that I'll never fucking get back. It was a pretty good movie, though. Yeah, the best part is when it fucking sunk. I thought you were going to say when it ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, but that was a lot. Of, well, actually, no. I'll admit, the part where he was drawing her naked was kind of good, but... <laughs> <laughs> But no, um, who saw the ti- who saw the iceberg coming? Everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I mean, it was a, yeah, it was its first voyage. That's it's unsinkable. Well, I guess not. Have you read anything about like the conspiracy theory behind, like they sunk it on purpose? No. There's a. There's a big conspiracy behind that. Well, I, I don't know how they would do it, but I've actually seen a picture of the uh, iceberg. They found it years later with the paint still scraped on the side of it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying it didn't hit an iceberg, yeah. but how rapidly stuff happened after it hit yeah. of how the how those ships were designed. Um, like in the lower portions of the ship, they have all kinds of area spaces. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But they all have, like, the doors that close with the wheel that are all pressured. Yeah. So... So they're supposed to be safety layers to keep it from... All of those, or almost all of those, had to be left open on purpose. Because, like, that's... People were fired for... I mean, I know it's the first fucking voyage, but you don't just hire eight, ten-year-olds to go run the fucking ship. Like, you hire... Well, back then you might have. Well, yeah, they would be like repair hands. But they would, no, like they'd be like in the coal. coal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say that. But they wouldn't be like in charge of stuff or like making sure whatever happens. Yeah. Most of those doors would have had to have been left open in a sequence on purpose to have it sink how it did. Yeah. Like how rapidly, how, every, how everything fucking happened had to have been either like the biggest fucking set of coincidences ever. Or someone did it on purpose. Yeah. Because it cost a little more than it should have to make. And then he just got, the guy that owned it, had just gotten a fucking massive insurance policy on it. Well, I was actually was going to mention that since they did find <coughs> the, the paint on the side of the iceberg, they were able to get the insurance claim to go through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting on that. Yeah. They wanted evidence, you know. They're like, no, it was an act of God. Like, oh, okay, we see the paint now. Here you go. Well, they might have just gone back out there and, like, sprayed paint on the fucking ice. Yeah, well, they did a good job because it did look like a scrape. <laughs> <laughs> Look like somebody, somebody, yeah. Uh, a nice scrape sound effect there, Mike. <laughs> worked out nicely. <laughs> but, no, uh, you know, like, somebody drove their car alongside of it. It was red. It was red. I think there was some reddish color to it. Oh, I mean, I guess the the lower fucking... Part of most ships back then were red. So but yeah, I, I just want to know why Rose didn't let him get on that debris with her. You know, there was plenty of room for two to people up. It wasn't a door, it was debris. But at the end of the movie, yeah, I think he just had enough of her. He's like, fuck this. I'm just going to go. And just dropped. I mean, in the movie, it doesn't make sense. But like, in the if that's what happened in real life, no, the, it didn't. that piece of debris might have been very small. Yeah. Yeah, you you don't know. If I'll that take that. Or not. I'll take that necklace. <laughs> I'll go sell that thing. I could get a few bucks for that. Yeah, pretty big diamond on there. Kind See, of, that, that should have been reason for him to try to get up on there. He could have kept the fucking necklace. <laughs> he wouldn't have been broke anymore. <laughs> Let's face it. At the beginning, he was not exactly a wealthy individual. No, definitely not. But Leonardo DiCaprio, I'll, I'll say he's one hell of an actor. I just don't much care for that movie. I used to not like much that he was in, but it's he's grown on me for sure because he's, he's done a lot of really good stuff. Have you seen What's Eating Gilbert Grape? No. You would think he was developmentally challenged, for real, if you saw him acting in I that mean, movie. Cuba Gooding Jr. did a great special kid, too, in yeah. radio. I haven't actually seen radio, but no. Um, Leonardo takes it to a new level. That's I know a couple clips from it. Yeah, but also Leonardo DiCaprio at the time of the of Titanic, shortly after that came out, well, it was still number one. Man in the Iron Mask came out, 
That was a really good movie. And that was one of the top movies. Like there was like at one point he had the first and second movie going at the time. Grossing movie. That's great. Yeah. That's and then he just recently got an Oscar or an Academy Award, whichever yeah. one. Academy. Yeah, it's the same thing. Is it the same thing? Yeah. I thought they were different. No, the Academy Award, the Academy gives the Oscars. It's the same thing. I was sure they were different. No, they're not. I assure you. Hmm. Yeah, I, I avoid it every year, but yeah. I don't watch the Academy or the Oscars. See, you just said they're different. No, I was saying, I was saying <laughs> the Dave twice. They are the same. <coughs> I just uh, I don't care for award shows. I've been to two in person though. So I went to the video game awards when it was in Vegas. I it went was, to. It was uh, pretty fun. I thought would have been cool. I went to the uh, uh, Billboard Billboard Music Awards, and I also went to the uh, Academy of Country Music Awards. That seems like a fun time. They both were, and they were both free. I just don't see how like a music award. I mean, I you can enjoy anything, but. Like, looking forward to, oh, let's go see people get awards for music they did. Well, they also perform. So oh. That's all people sing and stuff. Because, like, the Academy Awards, they don't fucking act. No. <laughs> they, well, they, they try to do little skits and shit that they never fucking work out or dance numbers or whatever the fuck. It's, I, I hate the I Oscars. I've, I've never watched it. I yeah, there's watch, somebody I, I used to work clips. with. Somebody I used to work with, he, he, like, knew the entire history of Oscars. You could say... Who won the Oscar in 1959? Best picture, best actor, whatever. He'd answer it. That's but then wild. I was like, um, thing is, is I, I, he could, he could just pull something out of his ass. I wouldn't know if he it was yeah. right. I'm not gonna go fucking look this shit up. I don't care. That's, I worked with a guy in Vegas that could do that with baseball. Like, you in know, that's 1953. A- who was in the World Series? Like, who was pitching in the World Series, and what were his stats that year? Yeah, that's, that's a bit more than... And he could tell you. But that's more useful than the Oscars. Yeah. I'm like, that's bro, why are you working at this factory? Why are you not either gambling with your sports knowledge or get a job as a sports statistician? Yeah. But I remember he used to say to me, um, the Oscars are my Super Bowl, because he was an aspiring actor also. But uh, and I was like, oh, that's weird, because the Super Bowl, that's my Super Bowl. I said it to somebody else. She goes, she goes, bullshit. Your Super Bowl is a World Series. And I'm like, all right, you got me there. I am a baseball fan. Uh, I thought you meant World Series of Poker. Oh, that too. I used to like working at that though. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, World Series doesn't doesn't help because there's a World Series of baseball, World Series of Poker. Yeah. And then World Series of like three other things. Oh, there's a yeah, there's a bunch. College and, World Series. And most of them. By World Series, they just mean the United States. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I, I used to always bug me because somebody I used to work with, big soccer fan, um, he used to always tell me, "Well, soccer's a world sport. They play it all over the world. They 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 have world competition. They have the World Cup. I'm like, yeah, they have a little fucking thing called the World Baseball Classic. Who do you think plays in that? Japan. Everybody. The whole fucking world. That's why it's called the World Baseball Classic." I mean, I wouldn't say everybody. I know Japan has okay. a team. There might be like Japan, five other Cuba. Countries. I'm just saying, but there's countries all over the world that are playing. Yeah. If you don't have a baseball team and you don't try to join, it's not because we don't allow you. You're allowed to play. Yeah. You, you just, just don't. To, you just have to have a team. Yeah. And and baseball is cheaper to play than say football. Uh, think about the equipment you have to have for football. Helmet uh, pads. I thought you meant like cheaper player wise. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. No, baseball's no. way more expensive. No, not player wise. I'm saying to to actually play as and a start, team. Start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baseball's a lot cheaper. Gotta, I mean, soccer's even cheaper. <clears throat> gotta, well, That's why they play it in so many different countries that don't have a lot of money. Is because yeah. All they just throw a ball, ball out there. Yeah, throw up something. You like can maybe cleats. You can make something out of it. You can make anything in the net. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, baseball. A couple gloves, a couple bats, yeah. a couple helmets if you care, yeah. and a couple balls. That's there it. you go. Yeah. And football is just, you know, there's so much more. Yeah. Yeah, but cleats would be useful, but people can play without them. I mean, look at, look, at Shula, slide. look at Shoeless Joe Jackson. 
I don't I don't know who that is. Well, he was a baseball player from many years ago. Uh, he played for the White Sox, the the White Sox team that was accused of uh, throwing the World Series. They called him the Black Sox. <laughs> And his name was Shoeless Joe Jackson. That was just a joke. He, was, he had shoes. Oh, okay. I was going to ask because I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. They don't let name. people play Major League Baseball without shoes, I don't think. You would think not. Even back then. Like, there's a couple people that, I don't know who it is, maybe Aaron Judge or Derek Jeter. One of the, I think it's a Yankee. Well, Aaron Judge, yeah, he still plays right now. Uh, Derek um, Jeter's a little retired. But one of them, like, in their warm up. Yeah. I think it was. I think it's Aaron Judge. Is he'll take his shoes off in the outfield and walk around like while he's warming up. Yeah. Walk around barefoot in the outfield. Barefoot in the outfield. Yep. There you go. We got a new movie. <laughs> 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 they had angels in the outfield. Now they can do barefoot in the outfield. Didn't they do like three or four of those fucking movies? Oh yeah, I'm sure. I know there's at least two. I remember. I really liked that movie growing up. Why don't they do a hockey one? Angel in the penalty box. I mean, he could do so much with it. Yeah. Speaking of... Angel on the backboard. What is it, 5.30? We need to start wrapping up so we can go watch the hockey game. Yeah. That started half an hour ago. Yeah. So you don't want to see more Angel movies? No. I mean, they did Air Bud. Look how many different things they got out of yeah, that. They needed to stop after the first or second one. The yeah. first one was good. I never it saw started it. going downhill. I thought they should have stopped it so fast. I think they should have probably just threw the guy out of the office who came up with the first one. It's a novel idea. It's been done. They had a horse play football years ago. I think it was a Don Knotts movie. I that it just sounded to me like you said they did something different. <laughs> so it had not been but, done. But it's a general idea of putting something that shouldn't be in a sport playing sport. It's been done. So it has not been done. This, I think this is the same as the Oscars and Academy Awards are the same. <laughs> they a are horse the same. Playing, a horse playing football is not the, the Academy, same as a dog playing basketball. The, the members of the Academy give the Oscar. Yeah. Uh, you got Google. Fucking check it. Yeah, but. It's right th- there. You think a horse playing football is the same as a dog playing basketball. No, I'm saying the ridiculousness of a horse playing football is the same as a dog playing football or basketball. Oh, wait, I was going to say one, but no, it hasn't been done yet, so we want to wait. We don't want to. What, baseball? No, I was going to say golf. We need to get to a pitch meeting quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is she? Ever seen the movie Hot to Trot? No. That horse that picks stocks. That's with Bobcat Goldthwait. Uh, Which is bigger, Oscars or Academy Awards? They're the same thing. In reality, the Academy Award is the same as the Oscar. The latter is just the more popular, more frequently used term. Blah, blah, blah. The history. It started in 1927. Oh, maybe Golden Globe. Yeah, Golden Globes are definitely different. Okay. But a lot of and times, if they win the Golden Globe, they also Emmys, win the Oscar. Emmys are different too, right? Emmys are TV. Okay. Yeah, you want to get an EGOT. Don't you say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> EGOT, you get an Emmy, a Golden Globe, an Oscar, and, and, and a Grammy. Time. You get them all. Oh, I thought you said EGOT. EGOT. Emmy? Where the fuck is the T? <laughs> it's like the cover of Time Magazine. You said... Tony. You said Grammy. Uh, Tony. You said Grammy. I didn't mean to say Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy did there. <laughs> it did there. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, a Tony. That's all of them. So is Golden Globe the same as any of those? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, Golden Globe is in there. Emmy? So there's two Gs? <laughs> I guess. You no, switched, Golden Globe's not even in there. You've switched back and forth between saying Golden Grammy Globe's and Golden Globe. <laughs> <laughs> it's Grammy. It's Grammy. It's not Golden Globe. Because you already got the movie thing covered with the Oscar. So, it's it's yeah, it's definitely, definitely Grammy. Okay. Because you have to hit all the different things. Like, do you know what a Tony is for? Uh, I would assume an Italian guy that's... No, I don't know what a Tony is for. <laughs> <laughs> it's for a Fiat. No, um, no that is for uh, uh, Broadway. Oh. Uh, see, see, that's why there's... Who cares? It's 
fucking who cares about Broadway? People on it, I'm guessing. The only time I care about no, that's not that. Yeah. Nope. Haven't you okay. ever, ever been to a Broadway musical? No. I haven't been to one in on Broadway, but I've been to a show that was testing it out for Broadway. I really don't think I have. And I, I've been to uh, Elf the Musical. That was done on Broadway, but I saw it in Vegas at the Smith Center. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, I've been to it any. It was good. It was enjoyable. I also saw Riverdance at the Smith Center. I remember I went to the Smith Center to see something. So either the answer is yes, but it was so black, so bad that I blacked it out. Oh, you should have seen it. Elf. Completely blocked out that memory. Just gone. Elf the Musical was great. But I love the movie Elf. Yeah, the movie Elf's great. Yeah, it just isn't like a, oh, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to go see a musical. That's not something that just comes to mind. I'm not going to go see Cats. I would rather do nothing. I mean, but like if I had, if somebody called me up and said, hey, I got tickets to go see Les Mis, I'd go see it. It doesn't have Hugh Jackman in it. Yeah, it doesn't have to. (laughs) It's a good story. I like the movie. The movie was all right. They all did their own singing. Yeah. Talent. That's talent. That's kind of impressive. Yeah. I would hope. Well, I mean, there's a lot of actors that can't fucking sing. Yeah, just because you're an actor doesn't mean you can sing. But a lot of them, a lot of actors have like voice coaches and everything. So I don't. But there was an actress who did um, the national anthem in uh, San Diego. It ended up being a huge controversy because she sucked. <laughs> she was so bad. Then she grabbed her crotch and spit as she was walking off. What? She grabbed her co- crotch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> check out the uh, one-year celebration we did last week. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mike, well, Mike thinks about what he's trying to say. And, uh, well, follow. I'm just saying don't do that um, when you're doing the national anthem. <laughs> don't grab yourself and don't spit and walk away. Just Okay, you just completely changed it to grab yourself so you didn't get mixed up again. <laughs> yeah. 2023, after all. Um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's some offense attended. I don't want to g- gender identify. Well, <laughs> somebody at work said uh, recently was like, we're only human. I'm like, don't species identify me. <laughs> uh, Twitter is, I forget, some offense pod. Yeah. I think. Um, I guess be on the lookout for video reels and stuff because I'm going to talk to a professional, Tamara. Yes. So, well, by the time you hear this last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's it. So we'll see you next time. These microphones are nice. Goodbye.